Uh, I'd say the confidence level of this team uh, is not higher or lower than last year's, but different. I feel like a lot of guys feel like we have more to prove this year than any other year. Every other year, the expectations have always been low. We haven't really had a chance to come off of success and prove that we deserve to be here and we deserve to compete with the best. I feel like we have a lot of young guys, a lot of new guys that are going to be taking over some big roles for the team and just wanted to prove that last year wasn't, I guess, the word would be a fluke. And a lot of guys are just hungry to go out there and show that that success was from everybody's hard work before us. And now we're just continuing to work harder and harder each year to keep building off of that success. When you look at this roster, what, do you, what stands out to you is a, hey, this is where we're going to be pretty good at this year or a standout strength of this group? Um, I'd say for the first time in a long time, we have four healthy catchers. Last year, we kind of, uh, Nick Caruso was pretty banged up and Swarmer is, Swarmer's always there. Swarmer's always going to play for us. He could have a broken leg and he'd still be running out on the field. But I think that his leadership for the catchers this year and John Ritter's leadership with the catchers, the two freshman catchers we have, I think that's just going to be a big plus for us, not having to scrap together innings behind the plate and just having four healthy guys that are going to be pretty interchangeable. How do you approach this season? I mean, you play 20 on the road to start the season and then come back, play a couple on conference on the week. So how, how do you break down this season? Uh, the 20 games on the road to start is pretty normal for us. We usually don't get to play back in Youngstown for a while because of the snow and the cold, which I don't mind not playing up here because it's pretty hard to pitch when it's 25 degrees and snowy outside. But you kind of just got to keep a keep a steady mind and just keep your focus while like the non-conference games at the beginning are preparation for conference, but at the same time you're still out there competing and trying to win and trying to solidify yourself and solidify the team and get the whole cohesion of just a team. Cause we haven't, we've played technically two games together, but those really weren't even set up as real games. It's kind of just all about just becoming a team essentially these first few weeks. Preseason pitcher of the year, Mike Perfect game. Obviously, there's a lot of expectations come with that. So, how do you kind of handle that and the expectations for you this season? Um, I don't really look into it very much. I've never really been one to have very many expectations on myself. I've always been kind of an under the radar guy. So, when I see stuff like that, I mean, it's, it's nice and all to have a little bit of recognition, but I just keep my head down, keep going, keep competing with my teammates at practice, keep trying to be the best that I can be. And it doesn't change anything at the end of the day. You still have to go out there and compete and work hard and be the best that you can be on the mound. Because when I step out there on a Friday night to pitch and I have the eight guys behind me and the catcher in front of me, that hitter doesn't care about anything, any news article that was written about me. So I have to go out there and compete, and we all have to go out there and compete. And I know Colin was a big mentor of yours the last couple of years. And have you kind of taken on that leadership role now with the pitching staff to step up and yeah, Colin was a huge help in my career. I mean, I came in as a freshman with Tommy John, not being able to throw, run, or lift. And he just was, he kind of just gave me a wake-up call without saying, without saying anything. Just watching him go through the same thing I went through and the way he approached it, just a good wake-up call to show that like, you still have to go to work every day. You still have to come in every single day, do what you're supposed to do, and try to be better than the guy standing next to you. Because if you're not trying to be better than the guy standing next to you when we're lifting, when we're practicing, then you're definitely not trying to be better than the teams that you're going to go out there and try to beat there in a few months. So Colin was a huge help with that. He always was the person I was just trying to compete with in my own head. And I think it was a great help for me.